Okay, so here we are. We're in a Teams meeting, but, you know, I'm having to work from home, as many people are at the moment, and check out the background. It's not so good. Thankfully, we have custom backgrounds nowadays. Let's change those. So if we go to the ellipsis on our meeting bar here, one of the things I can do is show background effects. And sure enough, this is going to show me a few things. I mean, I can have no effect. I can have blur, which is, you know, not bad. Let's just click on that one. Apply. There we go. It's pretty much blurred out my background, so it's anonymizing me. It's not perfect, you know, with the headset, but it's really not bad. Or, if we want to pretend that we live in a tidier home than we actually do, we can click on another one, like this. And once again, not perfect around the headset, but maybe you won't be using a headset for the meeting. Maybe you'll have a different microphone. So this is all great, and there are a few different things that they've added here for us, including even, you know, some fantasy backgrounds. But the thing is, right now, we are not allowed to upload our own backgrounds. There's no setting to do that. So this is where we have to do a little bit of a hack. So just a quick disclaimer, the proper feature to upload custom images should be along in the next few months. This video is just showing a workaround for educational purposes, there's no warranty uh, with this advice uh, because I'm afraid I'm not going to be around to reinstall Teams for you if something should happen. Although I have to say, something like that seems very unlikely. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we quit the Teams app entirely. So that means you click the X in the top right hand corner, but you also go to your taskbar and you shut it down there as well. So it's definitely quit. Then you just open File Explorer. Navigate to app data backslash Microsoft backslash Teams backslash backgrounds backslash uploads. Then put the images that you want into that uploads folder and they should start showing up as custom backgrounds which you can choose. Make sure they're of reasonable quality and make sure that they are of the right sort of dimensions to get best effect. Okay, so now we're back in Teams and we're ready to look at our custom backgrounds. So we've got a meeting going. We click on the ellipsis, show background effects. Now I do have the same stuff as I had last time, which is to be expected. But if we scroll down a little bit now, we'll actually find that my little holiday snaps and others have been brought in here. So if I click on, let's try this one. So this is my own photo, and once again, it's not perfect, but I do have my own image. So this is, uh, this is custom backgrounds. Enjoy!